Yeah, I remember making the comment it'd be a cold day in hell if I had any chickens in my yard. Well, I got chickens in my yard. And I stood by my guns. I said, there's no way we're getting a camper to redo. Not going to happen. I don't want one. It's too much work. Well, it looks like I ate my words because there is now a damn camper in the yard. She's always wanted a vintage camper. And this is a 1978 Sunline. So that's probably as vintage as you can get. This is going to be. This is not going to be a six month project. This is going to probably be a couple of years just when we have spare time. I did not realize how hard they were to find. When she found one, it was gone by the time she called. We got lucky on this one. The guy was nice enough to say, yeah, I'll wait for you. So he booked up there and looked at it and told him we'll take it. It's going to have some work. But for what we paid for it, it's not that bad. For the most part, the outside needs a good cleaning, new decals. Which, that shouldn't be a big deal. I think it's 17 and a half foot from what the serial number sticker and all that said. I pulled it home, had no problem pulling it 65, 70 miles an hour of my truck, which is a six cylinder five speed. So that's a good thing. It could take some work, but I got time. They got, let's see, got some cables right there. I have no idea what they go to. This is going to be a learning process. Of course, there's going to be new tires and wheels on it. The last thing we do. I haven't camped since I was 10 years old now. And God, I'm pushing 60. And that was a Cox camper, a pop-up back then. The door, I'm going to replace the door because it's got some rot, which... From what the guy told me, it had a, these tires right here were flat. And it set with a flat tire for a couple years and it leaned. And he did not realize the roof cap was missing. And it leaked. And all the water ran from one side to this side. And that's what caused that. The floor right here, it's got some issues right there. Uh, I can handle that, no problem. Look around the inside. So here's where the roof leaked. It leaked over there and ran this way. So I got to replace all that. That's just. I'm gonna learn by doing. I'm gonna learn by doing. I don't think you can see the sticker. But there it is. Sunline Coach Company. Got a shower. I'm actually surprised. That's pretty cool. Mirror, sink, toilet, cabinet, standard camper stuff. That's some more of the ceiling damaged right there. And it's just, I'll just pull it out and see what we got. Got storage up here. Down there. It's even got a magazine rack. Good figure. Sink. I'm assuming that's the heater. 
oven, stove, whatever you want to call it. More storage down here. Uh, that looks like, I don't know what that is. I think this is a refrigerator, I think, right here. He hadn't used it in a few years. If I had to replace it, so be it. More storage. I think, from what I understand, this converts into a bed down here. I'm going to replace the hood. That converts into a bed. Challenge, but I think it's gonna be fun. What she really wanted was a, like I said, a vintage camper. But all the ones she looked at, they were a lot of them were gutted, and they were going for a lot higher price than this. At least with this, we've got the basics. If I had to replace something, I know what's there. I can take pictures. I I got patterns to go by, and it's all here. It's a little rough. But, I think it's going to be okay. I'm not mechanically inclined. I got some vents I got to deal with. Uh, the heaters will probably have to be dealt with. I'm hoping, God, I hope we can put air conditioning on the roof. I don't know. I'm going to have to have somebody do that because I don't think I can do that myself. I know there's a ton of videos on YouTube and stuff like that, so we'll see. One of my biggest concerns is the roof like i said i don't have an idea what i'm looking at i can see right here this is one leak right there i did roof in 20 some years and i can guarantee you water's getting in there and running especially since the flat tires are flat and these caps that one that one i'll replace all these vents i'm not a fan of roof cement that's just a quick temporary fix it's not worth a flip solid uh, this could be a can of worms I'm not sure but as time progresses I'm gonna make getting this right here fixed that's like we're on top priority get it washed up cleaned up we'll go from there one more little quick walk around yeah there's a chicken coop in the background I said I'd never have we got him in a chicken tractor right now for the summer moving around the yard. That's why they're not in there right this minute. Does have an auxiliary shower. Maybe that's what I call an outside shower. The side will clean up pretty easy. It's just, it's not that bad. It looks terrible. It'll come off pretty easy. I'm not worried about that. I want to find some new decals. I don't know where I'm going to find them. I'm assuming that's a spare tire. Got to have that. Need more decals there. It looks like it came from Bill Plemons and went from Salem originally. This, I don't know if it's original. That, I don't know if it's original. We're trying to keep it you know, as vintage as possible. I don't know what I can find as far as decals, but we'll make the effort. Good cleaning. Probably the first thing we do, place the door real quick. Batteries, I'm assuming, got to replace them. Paint the frame, which that's no big deal. I want to replace this, if I can find that. I don't even know what that is. This could be a learn by doing process. We'll see.